Our program is unique in that we haven't focused on one particular trade or discipline in the construction industry. We are making the program very broad so that our students get a feel for each of the primary trades. For instance, we offer a course in electrical work, a course in plumbing, um, HVAC, masonry, and a couple of courses in framing. So our students should have a base knowledge of all the different trades needed to build um, in the industry. Hopefully from there they can decide which direction they want to go. Um, maybe they'll get into management, maybe they'll become an electrician, but right now our students will get a very comprehensive education in the construction industry. Our industry leaders did spearhead this program. This isn't something that Butler threw together and said, here, hope you can use it. The industry leaders came to us and said, this is what we need the students to learn, and a Butler has obliged and set up this program to meet the industry standards, not our own specific um, goals. Students have to have hands-on um, experience in this program because it is a skill set that needs to be practiced. Um, there's going to be mistakes made and it's better to make them in the classroom than on the job site where it will cost money or even injury. We want to prevent that. We want our workers to be ready to go day one. We're going to have several projects. We're working with a nonprofit organization now to build some tables for some kids. Um, we hope to build, uh, maybe get involved with Habitat for Humanity um, or maybe build our own little projects in the future. Um, but our students will be working almost every day after the initial safety requirements are, are completed. The students are required to do an internship uh, the first summer after their first year. Um, and our advisory board and our industry members have promised interviews with our students. 